Okay, so in this video, we're going to derive the formula t squared is equal to 4 pi squared or cubed over big G times big M. To start with this, we are going to use the universal gravitational force formula, which is Fg is equal to big G times M1 times M2 over R squared. And we're also going to use the centripetal force formula, which is Fc is equal to mv squared over R. Now we're going to equate the two of these because in orbital motion we have the universal gravitational force is equal to the centripetal force. So we can say g m1 m2 over r squared is equal to m v squared over r. Now we have a bit of cancelling that happens here. So m1 will cancel with m and r will cancel with one of the r's over here. So that leaves us with big G times M over R, which is equal to V squared. That's going to be equation one. To get equation two then, we start with the velocity formula, which is velocity is equal to distance over time. We know that the distance in a circle is 2 pi r, the circumference of the circle, so it's 2 pi r over t. So V is equal to 2 pi r over t. If I square both sides of this, I get v squared is equal to 4 pi squared r squared over t squared. That's a t. This is equation 2. I can now let equation 1 equal to equation 2 because I have v squared on both of them. So that means that g times m over r is equal to 4 pi squared r squared over t squared. If I multiply across by t squared, multiply across by r, and then divide by gm, I can get t squared is equal to 4 pi squared, r squared times r is r cubed, and then divided by big G times m. And then small r becomes big r, the radius of the orbit, and m becomes big m, which is the mass of the central body.